let's look at how to create a pan and zoom effect with frame flex. Since Media Composer automatically applies a frame flex effect to a high res clip you edit into your sequence, it's ready for animation. For this effect, you'll want to use both the source and the record monitor. So you'll stay in the edit workspace and activate effect mode. With this setup, the left monitor becomes an effect analysis monitor that displays a preview of the finished effect. And the right effect preview monitor displays a wireframe outline for direct manipulation. We're ready to create the animation. Let's create a zoom that lasts the entire duration of the shot. We'll add a keyframe here at the clip's first frame to set the zoom start point. And if necessary, adjust the size parameter and the effect editor. This framing works for the start of our zoom. Then we'll move the position indicator to the shot's last frame. We can set up the zoom's end a couple of ways. First, we can add a keyframe and then make adjustments in the effect editor. Or we can just grab the direct manipulation handles here in the effect preview monitor. Notice Media Composer automatically adds a keyframe. Let's review the results here in the Effect Analysis Monitor. Looks good. A quick note. If we want to make changes, we'll just want to ensure we click the keyframe first, then make the changes. That's it.